Chainvine has been um, concentrating on productizing its solution. And these fall into two brackets. Um, those brackets are intelligent commodities and intelligent contracts. The intelligent commodity is um, something like the wine product that we have, or indeed when we work with physical objects that we're digitizing. Now that um, intelligent commodity is connected to the intelligent contract, except the intelligent contract can actually be for intangible goods also. So our work in the legal sector mainly focuses on intelligent contracts. An intelligent contract is essentially a contract that has been programmed to do a few functions. If the history does not add up on an intelligent contract, if the intelligence that it picks up is wrong, the intelligent contract will not work as it should. What we help clients do is actually automate a lot of process with the intelligent contract. Myself, I got come from a financial um, data background, so I've worked with market data for many years, um, worked up until the crash with that. After the crash, I actually went back and studied decentralized economics. At the same time, I was looking at a cryptocurrency called Bitcoin. What fascinated me about Bitcoin was essentially the technology that was used to protect it, i.e. Uh, blockchain technology. I looked to establish a company um, and I needed a use case, a very powerful use case to, to start the company and um, hence the name Chainvine. Our first use case was in fine wines. Years ago, um, our supply chain and our way of doing global trade um, wasn't as deep as it is now. So the supply chain can be maybe 25 people deep. There is a huge amount of middlemen now in the process um, and there is a lack of trust. So what we're doing is we're not replacing trust. As I said, uh, what we're doing is reducing the cost of trust. We're taking out some of the unrequired middlemen in the market as we see it today. So if we look at uh, global trade, it's extremely fragmented. What we seek to do is join the fragments using our um, products and solutions. Our long-term initiative is to really build out um, internationally. Um, at the moment, we have um, very good clients in um, Sweden, the UK and America. Uh, in the next one to two years, I would like to see us uh, reach out into the Far East and particularly the Chinese market where we feel our product could actually have a, a really big effect. And we've already initiated um, talks with that market. But what we want to do is um, have much more global expansion than we have at the moment.